When a loved one goes missing, it's devastating for those left behind. But adding to the family's grief is the bureaucratic nightmare they have to deal with. Karen Percy reports on the agony of losing a loved one when they're not officially gone. Retirement hasn't exactly turned out as Z Meyer planned. There's time for art and grandchildren too. But the husband she married in 1976, six months after they met in Kathmandu, is not by her side. It's very rare, I think, what's happened to Warren, and even the experts don't know how to handle our situation. Warren Meyer went missing after setting out on a hike on Easter Sunday morning in 2008 near Hillsville, northeast of Melbourne. A police search followed by a private search failed to find him. And after all this time, there's still no death certificate, which has led to a decade of administrative and legal nightmares for the family. It's, it's a, a torment, really. It took eight years to settle the life insurance. Ms Meyer has had trouble taking his name off the bank statements. Every year she needs to advise the tax office that he won't be putting in a return. Little things that you don't often think about become major issues repeated year after year after year. So we've got these made up for Run Melbourne on the anniversary of his disappearance. Lauren O'Keefe knows the challenges all too well. After devoting almost five years to finding her brother Daniel, there were many bureaucratic hurdles, in particular a failed plea to the Melbourne Cricket Club to suspend his membership. It's really draining, um, so families just need so much more help in this, in this regard. She's lobbying companies, governments and other agencies to show more compassion to families. Either suspend accounts or give them some sort of leeway given um, the extenuating circumstances that the family is dealing with. Relief from some of these administrative tasks would go some way to easing the pain. Families of missing persons are robbed of those standard rituals of bereavement that, you know, the funeral, the, the burial, the ceremonies that come with finality. It's terrible. It's, it's, I haven't been allowed to grieve for Warren, to understand what has happened to him because I'm always battling from one day to the next. Z Meyer is hoping the coroner will issue a death certificate soon. Then she'll be able to finalise Warren's affairs and pay tribute to a man lost but loved. Karen Percy, ABC News, Melbourne.